So here's the next thing I want to talk about. And I have a prop too. So this goes full circle to the first thing I said here. My intro into this whole world was Praxis. Yeah. And how yeah. Uh, amazing was it when I found out that there was suddenly a new Praxis record and Maximum Bob was on it and, and Mike Patton was on it. Yep. Did you um, record this in New York with Bill Laswell or what's the no. story with this? No, we recorded in L.A. And I have my vinyl here. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, uh, I think it's um, yeah, Man. it's signed by Bill too. Nice. Have you ever seen this? No, I haven't. Your name's on there somewhere. It's super oh, look rad, at this. Maximum Bob. There you go. Iggy Pop. I know. Bernie Worrell, Serge, Mike Patton. Like what a lineup. Of course, Bill Buckethead, Brain. You know, yeah. Ram LZ, R.I.P. I know, man. I got to yeah, see uh, Ram LZ. Uh, play with Buckethead once too. That was That's like awesome. it was unannounced, and he just showed up. And you know, if you're there, he throws you on stage, and he's got his crazy costumes on and everything. Man, it was cool. Yeah, I saw some amazing pictures that they they took in New York, and it was like this guy's so rad. Yeah, and I mean, I, he was in that uh, the animal behavior video and everything yeah. too. Yeah, 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 he's been around that scene for a while. I freaking love that song, by the way. Damn. Right, so tell me about worship. Uh, it just, I do things a lot on the fly. And so I was in the studio. I knew the parts that I was going to sing uh, musically. And so I was standing there. And as I'm, I came up kind of with a melodic idea. And then I just scratched down the lyrics right then and there. And I'm always thinking. I so, what, um, I, that's you and Ram LZ, right? So who came first on the track? Uh, or am I wrong? Let's see. I think it's Hawk, Hawkman. It's Hawk Hawkman. Hawkman. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, Hawkman did his part after. Okay. So, and I basically, they knew, uh, I think Bill had said he had something for the verse. And um, could we focus on the a chorus? And then um, I asked, you know, well, what is the song about? Like, what's what's the idea of it? And once I heard what it, the idea was, I just thought of those words. Like, yeah, it's perfect. You know. Yeah, and I love I it. Know. It's a great, it's a great record. Yeah, it's it is. It's it's pretty trippy, man. Did you know Bill back in the nineties or? No, I mean I knew of him because like he was always here in New York. Yeah, yeah. No, he's heavy duty though. Yeah, yeah. I I met him once briefly. Uh, he was hanging out at the bar at a Buckethead show. Nice. Yeah, so I got my picture with him and everything. Yeah, I remember after Bucket went out and worked with him and he came back and he was just like, like this guy. For so the first Paraxis record? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he, he he was pretty blown away by how just his presence and he's so heavy duty, you know. Yeah. Plus, I mean, obviously he's a great player. Oh, yeah. And speaking of, that's a good time to segue into this. Nice. So Buckethead's playing a sh couple shows in New York with Praxis. There's Bill, Brain, and Bucket back uh, at it. And I've yeah. I've seen I've seen Bucket with Brain play uh, with the um, Les Claypool, the Colonel Claypool yeah. thing. Yeah. I've never seen Bill play. I am uh, fucking stoked. Maximum Bob, you should come out to New York and hang man, out at the Praxis I've, show. I would love to see that show. Seriously. Big time. Damn. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see where the um, theoretical conversations right go. So, well, I'm, I'm that, super stoked that, about that because I'm not not only of course Bucket hasn't played since the pandemic, but usually like the last I don't know ten years of seeing Buckethead, he's just him and his iPad, you know, yeah. iPod. Which and I miss you know as much as I love anything that he does, it's magical. But with a band, it's just a whole different energy, and especially with Brain, who's been playing with them on and off for. God, what almost <laughs> thirty oh, yeah. something years now? Yeah, that alone is worth seeing, and they have they have really good chemistry. Oh yeah, you know? yeah. It's I'm really incredible. bummed I never got to see them together with Guns and Roses. Oh my, the brain, brain was a mind blower. You know, like yeah, I don't know. Being being up close and personal. I mean, one one show we did at the Ten Thousand Lakes Festival, it was yeah, kind of like right. I uh, seen two that on sections, YouTube. right? It was it was our set, and then. And then more of a bucket solo set with yeah. brain, not solo, but just his own stuff. And anyway, so I kind of got to stand off to the side and like watch it. And you know, I mean, I've been around them 
a million times like live but but he, this is the only time he actually played deli creep stuff right huh that was the only time he ever played deli creep songs i think right yeah 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 which is um, awesome it um i don't know it was just he, he's he's got a gear dude that he can hit that's like wow wow yeah. but yeah because i know him i know the two of them and um and um dan did a couple shows but only on the west coast yeah. so i missed that yeah and i if um people who who would have to make plans for uh you know for travel um like if i were you and you wanted to be in um orange county on halloween make some plans it wouldn't, gotcha. be, it wouldn't be the worst idea hmm so, Halloween's a yeah. I don't so know if you want to make that, but Halloween's shit. a lot of fun. So gotcha. I love you know the candy in Orange County is really good. Uh huh. Really, uh huh. I found bad. this old flyer of you guys with the limbo maniacs. So is that the first time you met Brain? You think? Uh, I don't know. No, we we actually went and saw them. Like he, because everybody knew each other, right? So because right. Kristen, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. So we were already going to see them play, and dude, they were amazing. They were so freaking good live. And actually, I, I really liked Fungo Mungo, too. Um, oh, yeah? Yeah, I never yeah. heard of these other bands. Yeah, the, they were good. They're good guys. Like, you know, that the Bay Area was, was kind of the epicenter at that moment, you know? I mean, you had, look what you had up there. It was insane, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so, and then obviously Primus, it was, right. it was special. It was, a, it was a good time. 